Sargon of Akkad thinks they're liberal. This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. <laughs> so y'all, I'm sitting here kind of losing my mind a little bit because basically, you know, I had someone on the channel, uh, one of the viewers, leave me a link to a Sargon of Akkad video. And in this video, he explains why he doesn't talk about conservative issues or why he doesn't talk about conservatives. So I don't know that much about Sargon of Akkad, but the videos that I've watched have usually been him talking about social justice or about feminism or about any number of progressive ideas in a derogatory way. So when I came across this video, I assumed that he was going to be explaining that, you know, conservatives, as far as he's concerned, don't really have issues or that you know it's you know it's a it's a it's something that he agrees with he's as a, that he's a conservative no that's not the case so he goes on to explain that the reason that he doesn't criticize conservatives is that one he feels that he's not going to have an impact on conservatives that there's really nothing that he's going to say that is going to move them in their way of thinking which i don't necessarily agree with i think that everyone has the potential for change if they're a reasonable person but what he goes on to explain is that the reason he focuses on liberals is that that's where he identifies. He identifies as a liberal and he's, you know, doing it out of love because he wants to transform this, you know, liberal world. I don't know what, I don't know what he's thinking. He also goes on to say that there's probably nothing that conservatives are going to do that is going to cause that much damage. And that where he sees the most damage happening is amongst liberals. So radical conservatives aren't a problem. Fascists aren't a problem. Ethno-nationalism won't hurt anyone. Increased militarization isn't doing any damage to anyone. No need to criticize that. No need to talk about that. So I'm like, okay, so you look at conservatives and you think, well, there's not that much change that needs to be made over there. And if there was, there probably wouldn't be much of a chance of me having an impact. So I'm going to devote all of my time undercutting what I see as radical left ideas, which to a lot of people are simply progressive ideas because I feel that I need to be transforming the left to fit more with my worldview. Which, if you think about it, Sargon, is a conservative point of view. And that's exactly what I would expect from a conservative. I expect a conservative to be trying to move people on the left further and further to the right. If you're progressive, then you believe in a progressive platform and you're going to, to more or less of an extent, be interested in forwarding a progressive platform. It doesn't make sense to me to have someone who considers themselves a progressive trying to be less progressive and yet not considering themselves conservative. <laughs> and of course this becomes the problem is that wherever you are on the political spectrum you're going to feel like you are progressive. You're going to feel like that is the norm and that you want more people to move towards you. Like your idea of a better world is a world where everyone is thinking along your lines politically for the most part, which is one reason I really don't identify with any particular political ideology because it becomes this kind of confusing morass of, well, I'm this, but I don't agree with that. And uh, I'm not that, but I do agree with some of what that has to say say about that particular issue, as opposed to just being an individual and looking at the world and trying to come to some understandings about what are the things that work, what are the things that are important to you. So I find myself being labeled a radical leftist when I don't really even consider myself a leftist, and then find myself relating better to people who consider themselves conservatives than other people who consider themselves leftist. Something has to give here. So I've fallen behind you all on the news. 
I've fallen behind on what's happening on YouTube. Really, all of my energy has been going into directing and producing this play. I know there's just a tiny little handful of you who have been following that and I really appreciate you for it. And I know I'm also way behind on my scheduled videos about vegan gains, but the more I actually deal with the folks who are kind of representing vegan gains down in the comments section, the more I realize that I really want as little to do with that whole thing as possible. I'm gonna apologize in advance to some folks who have been leaving comments and I know that that you're doing your best to engage in a meaningful way, but there's just too many of them. It's getting to be too many of them. So I will continue to respond to videos, but probably not in a way that's as in depth as I have in the past. I'm also likely going to be muting some of the conversations. I get notifications on my phone and they come pretty regularly. And there are some people who just comment a lot and they don't really have much to say and a lot of what they say is, you know, just very negative. So likely I'll be muting some folks at least as far as receiving notifications on my phone. I continue to reserve the right to block anyone who just gets on my nerves because uh, I can. But for the most part, I'm gonna continue to try to moderate with, you know, love in my heart and patience and as much acceptance as possible. Big love out to all of you and welcome to the new subscribers. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I